I'm Gianluca from Gruella. I'm such a representative of product specialist for Gruella, robotic device for neuromotor rehabilitation. The core of our system is this robotic glove. We can mobilize the finger with inflection and extension in a very natural way, uh, thanks to these artificial tendons connected to our device. Uh, we can start uh, directly with the first uh, type of uh, modality, which is the passive mobilization. The passive mobilization is best suited to the first phases of rehabilitation when applying uh, conventional therapy is more difficult, but it, even where it will be more important because it's where the neuroplasticity uh, is more active. Before our exercise, we have this video preview of a real hand performing the movement because we want to exploit the so-called action observation therapy. So the patient can see the movement that he's going to perform and this will stimulate his mirror neurons. Then let's get to the exercise. As you can see, our product is a, a so-called a uh, product of soft robotics uh, is very lightweight, it's very comfortable, it comes in six different sizes. And as you can see, can perform fine movements like a, a pinch, like in this case. The great thing about Gorea is that we can use this mobilization even for functional exercise to interact uh, with real objects like this, because my hand is not stuck in a fixed position. And in order to perform functional exercise, we can combine the use of the glove with this dynamic arm support, which compensates the weight of my arm, allowing me to better perform the movements, uh, preventing me from getting tired. Since uh, the majority of our patients are neurological patients, our glove will never limit his action to the motor task, but it always combine uh, on neuroplastic stimulation. In this case, we have this 3D animation of a real hand which matches the movement of the glove again in order to stimulate the mirror neurons of our patient. Uh, let's get to the settings so we can show how we can uh, uh, customize our therapy. Here we have the range of motion. Basically, the higher this level, the higher the level of flexion will be. And the other important setting is the speed, whether to be kept low in case of hypertonia or spasticity. Regarding spasticity, we can treat patients up to level 3 of modified action scale. Here we have a section for audio and visual feedbacks because we want to expand the brain area targeted by neuroplastic uh, stimulation and also we can uh, keep higher level of attention even in the most severe cases. For the passive mobilization, uh, we, we are okay. Let's uh, see another modality which is called the bilateral therapy. In this case, the patient wears both uh, the glove the movement performed by one hand which can be active or even less effective will be detected and replicated on the other one which, as you can see, has still the mobilization wires. We can see this kind of therapy as a sort of improved version of the mirror box therapy because even in this case the patient can see his affected hand moving, but in this case, the hand is really moving. This will uh, increase the positive uh, outcomes from both uh, uh, psychological and rehabilitative point of view. So, as you can see, I'm going to move just my left hand, and the movement is detected and replicated on the other hand. It's a great thing because um, our patient becomes the protagonist. Uh, he's in total control of his therapy, and this will also amplify the mirror uh, neuron stimulation. In this case, the mirror neurons of the area contralateral to the injury uh, will create the new synapses in order to compensate the inactivity of the other one. 
The movement, uh, on the unpaired hand, uh, is controlled by the software itself, so we can again customize the speed and uh, obviously the range of motion. And another important uh, thing to say is that we can perform this therapy even if the patient has just partial motricity on this end. So even in this all diseases that usually affect both hands again so we can do that with the, and this is important because um, a lot of, of uh, action of everyday life is performed with both hands again and our move on one hand and so in the from distal and proximal level, we can use, we can exploit his active motricity. In order to uh, perform uh, his death and the glove will only is that only he needed the glove with step six. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty simple exercise based on textual instruction. I must flex my fingers to let the door close, and then again. I'm going to open which his schedule. So this is how it should the step scene and will open my hand. That's the idea. On the screen the therapist has an immediate feedback on the patient performances, both inflection and extension. Each patient has its own profile, so all of these data will be properly stored and summarized in uh, graphs so to let the therapist assess the patient progress over time. This is, uh, let's say, the, um, the most simple. And the next time, and only um, the best way to better exploit and customize the, the, the therapy. Okay. And that's right. We are in the most advanced. Basis of rehabilitation. Now, um, now uh, we do not need the normalization wire because uh, the patient can the ability. In this case, I'm seeing my hand. To flexion and extension, I can control the bar, and obviously, the aim is to destroy uh, the more difficult. I can increase the speed, I can change the the bar length obviously easier because as you I have just partial motricity I cannot reach the edges so uh, we can 
basically decide how wide. So, so even if you are um, the therapy, just reducing uh, how wide the movement. Uh, um, okay, I think that uh, we can uh, skip to the next therapy. Now we are going to use uh, um, another hardware part, which is not the robotic glove, but is this uh, sensor, which can detect both of the wrist very quick, so that uh, and uh, we are going to use our active movements again. But in this case, uh, we can uh, um, basically train a wider, a wider um, range of joints, and also with uh, combining motor tasks with cognitive ones. So that's the the basic idea. I'm going to use my arm to reach. The circle, so putting them in order according to the size. We have developed these games uh, in collaboration with neuropsychologists uh, in order to train specific skills like shifting, the memory, visual and spatial exploration. And uh, let's jump more and cognitive tasks. Will uh, uh, train the support device. Plus the combination of support device and attention, which is crucial. We find the training of the arm. We have to close my finger by the, the, the correct answer. So again, it's very. Customizable, we can even define how wide my uh, customizing it according to the feature. Of our will get a task where we are going to train our arm movement uh, in space uh, on uh, uh, an horizontal plane. So, and bring it to the end. Hello. Uh, so, uh, now is a pretty simple um, task based on just my hand. So now we're going to disable the automatic. And now I can arm to reach uh, the position and then close my fingers. So I'm going to reach the position, close, and then the feature is that we can focus uh, the mushroom spawn in a specific area. So uh, uh, we can train a specific uh, uh, motor task, like in, in case a uh, patient has this tendency, we can 
use these movements, these behaviors, uh, the mushroom position in order to be. We have just I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm